If you want to know the best romance movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2018. What? Let's do this. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, 2018. Hey guys. Hi. This is my friend Bill. Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard nothing about you. <coughs> Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again is a 2018 jukebox musical romantic comedy film written and directed by Ole Parker and stars Dominic Cooper, Amanda Seyfried, Meryl Streep, Pierce Brosnan, Colin Firth, Stellan Skarsgård, Lily James, Christine Baranski, and Cher. Now split into two timelines, the movie explores the forging of all the relationships that led to the future chaos in the original. We follow young Donna on her adventures as an independent and adventure-thirsty woman on a trip that would change everything. Are you kidding? Of course you should. Tell her she should go. You should absolutely go. That's what I'm saying. I I'm saying it too. Go. 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 And do everything I would do. Nearly yeah. everything. Sorry. Number nine. Life Itself, 2018. Abby, I'm waiting for the right moment, because when I ask you out, there's not going to be any turning back for me. Life Itself is a 2018 epic drama film written and directed by Dan Fogelman and stars Oscar Isaac, Olivia Wilde, Mandy Patinkin, and Olivia Cook. The story follows multiple couples over numerous generations and their connection to a single event. The perils and rewards of life are shown in this multi-generational saga. The couples face unexpected twists that continuously echo in their lives. Will they be able to successfully survive through the wheel and woes of life and revert back to the normal conditions? I'm waiting for the right moment, Abby, because when I ask you out, it's going to be the most important moment of my life. And I just want to make sure that I get it right. Number 8. Crazy Rich Asians, 2018. We've been dating for over a year now, and I think it's about time people met my beautiful girlfriend. Come on. I'm Colin's best man. Don't you want to see where I grew up? Crazy Rich Asians is a 2018 romantic comedy film directed by John M. Chu and stars Constance Wu, Henry Golding, Gemma Chan, Aquafina, Ken Jeong, and Michelle Yeoh. In this unforgettable clash of cultures, we follow native New Yorker Rachel Chu, who is set on a hard quest when meeting her boyfriend Nick's family in his hometown of Singapore. Excited about visiting Asia for the first time, she is surprised to discover that his family is amongst the richest in the country, and Nick is considered the most eligible bachelor in Asia. When we first met, you had no idea who I was, who my family were. You didn't care. Yeah, I don't care about that stupid stuff. Well, exactly. You are so different from all of the women that I grew up with. Number 7. If Beale Street Could Talk, 2018. That sure took a load out of me. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> but what a man wouldn't do for love, ain't eh, leaving? Amen. If Beale Street Could Talk is a 2018 romantic drama film written and directed by Barry Jenkin and stars Kiki Lane, Stephen James, Coleman Domingo, and Tayona Paris. As another proof of director Jenkins strengthening his visual style and craft, If Beale Street Could Talk is the empowering love story seen through the eyes of young and passionate Tish Rivers. Set in 70s Harlem, she and her partner face unbelievable injustice when one is wrongly arrested for a crime. Now separated, the two must do anything to find together again. Look, imagine our walls, right? Over here and over here. But where are we going to cook? and sleep and bathe. I mean, where my mama and them gonna sit? Number six. To all the boys I've loved before, 2018. What happened? You fainted. Huh. Okay. Yeah, give me a hand. To All the Boys I've Loved Before is a 2018 teen romantic comedy film directed by Susan Johnson and stars Lana Condor, Noah Centineo, Janelle Parrish, Anna Cathcart, and Andrew Batchelor. This hilarious and charming coming-of-age story follows Laura Jean, who writes love letters when she gets a crush too big to handle, but she never actually sends them. 
until one day when all the love letters are sent out to her previous loves and suddenly her love life goes from imaginary to out of control. Oh my God. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. Hey! Stop that! Two more laps for you, Cubby. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Number five. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, 2018. Dad, them kids in her Thank you for watching us. We had a lovely time. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society is a 2018 historical romantic drama film directed by Mike Newell and stars Lily James, Michelle Huseman, Glenn Powell, and Jessica Brown Findlay. This feel-good period tale explores love, desire, and obsession in times of destruction and horror. We follow a passionate writer with a free spirit in the 1946 times of censorship. Invited to a mysterious literary club, she goes on an adventure that will change things forever. As she meets Dazi, the two unfold dark secrets of a wartime that they both wanted to bury. She's fond of you. I best get back. Number four. Cold War, 2018. Cold War is a 2018 Polish historical drama film directed by Paweł Pawlikowski and stars Joanna Kulig and Thomas Cott. This beautifully tragic romance follows a couple that tries to fight for love in times where relationship seems impossible. Set in the 50s post-war Poland, the two are again and again separated by politics, character flaws, and the cliffs of space. Running over multiple cities in the most different countries, love must find a way to succeed in this horrifying times. Victor! Number three. Love, Simon, 2018. Oreos. <laughs> Man, I love this. Halloween ones are the best. Right? Yeah. Love, Simon is a 2018 romantic comedy film directed by Greg Berlanti and stars Nick Robinson, Josh Duhamel, and Jennifer Garner. This funny and heartfelt coming-of-age story tells the story of 17-year-old Simon Spear, who hasn't come to terms with his homosexuality yet. But it's even more complicated. After falling in love with an anonymous classmate online, a rather unconventional journey to find real love begins. Uh, well, thanks for letting me stay over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, have been staying over 10 years. It's, um, you don't have to thank us. Oh, yeah, thanks. Stop. Number two. Never Look Away, 2018. Do I see Elizabeth? Never Look Away is a 2018 German coming-of-age romantic drama film written and directed by Florian Henkel von Donnersmark and stars Tom Schilling, Sebastian Koch, and Paula Beer. Following the purely absorbing story of an incredible life and the everlasting impact on the artist who lived it, Never Look Away evolved into an epic romantic journey over 30 years. We witness how decades change a nation and humans, for better and for worse, in this thoughtful contender to better understand the horrifying background of the German nation. Das kann ich nicht auf mir sitzen lassen. Das ich genauso. Ein Spaziergang durch den Park, damit ich meine Fehleinschätzung korrigieren kann. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Now we're the people at the party that make out in the pool. I don't care. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna hold it with one hand. I'm gonna move my way up the slatter. Like a monkey. Stop. Stop. I got this. All right. Oh my god. What? Stop. Keep the top up, otherwise the cheese will slide off. <laughs> Please don't drop my pizza. You got your smile, you know. You got your laugh, too. You don't remember my laugh.
Number one. A Star is Born, 2018. If you don't dig deep in your fucking soul, you won't have legs. A Star is Born is a 2018 romantic musical drama film produced and directed by Bradley Cooper and stars him alongside Lady Gaga. It is the harsh and emotional story of Jackson Maine, who discovers the struggling artist Allie and falls in love with her. She has given up on her dream to make it big as a singer until Jack coaxes her into the spotlight. But even as Allie's career takes off, the personal side of their relationship is under pressure as Jack fights in an ongoing battle with his own internal demons. So you gotta grab it and you don't apologize. You don't worry about why they're listening or how long they're gonna be listening for. You just tell them what you wanna say. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.